Hello everybody, this is Aiden and Dad, and... We're making a Kaden Life Q&A. Woo! Okay, so we've done all this cool stuff with video and such, but the audio seems a little bit loud in some places. Can we change that? Sure. Let's load up our previous project again. And let's spoilers! Let's spoilers! Demo 3. <laughs> Let me uh, zoom out so we see the whole thing. There we go. So let's start with this one. And we're going to go back to an effect now. And this is our audio correction effect. Volume, you'll see the key frameable. Let's just put that in. Let's say we want to change the volume on this whole track to 80% of what it is currently. So you can click there and drag it to 80. That's one way to do it. Or you can go here and type in 80. Enter. And now this whole track is set for 80% volume. And let's play a little bit from here. So this is what it will sound like. But what Aiden has been asking is if you want to do it on this specific spot in the video. Remember this is the knocking part. Knock on the door there. See that? Girl Scout cookies. <laughs> so let's say we want to make this knocking that you can clearly see on the on the waveforms here. You see that? It's so vivid there, so that means it's very loud. So let's say this part here, from there to there roughly, we want to lower the volume. So let's pull that same thing up here. Volume keyframeable. Now in this case we're gonna need to understand what keyframes are. Now all video is, if you zoom into the lowest level of it, you'll see the frames. It's made up of frames. See these little blocks here? Let me demonstrate that. Watch this display here. I think something is moving over here. Yeah, your cobblestone. There we go. So each frame is like a little photograph that changes just a little bit and that fools your brain into thinking this is a constantly changing picture. You know the term frames per second? Yeah, that's what this relates to. Yeah, there's exactly 30, in this, this case, 30 frames for every second displayed. Um, and that reminds me, let, let's quickly go and save this project as a new name. That's always the first thing you want to do. Let's do that now. And sometimes you forget like I did now, but this is so important that you remember this every time. All is good there. You'll see this white line here. This white line represents this 100% volume. If you bump this up to 200, you see there how it jumps? We want to do keyframes. So keyframes are just Im important frames in the video clip. So if we zoom out again, let's decide where roughly we want to start lowering the volume. So let's say there, from there to there, right? So this doesn't have to be exact, but you need to understand what keyframes are. So you'll see this little, looks like a stopwatch, it says add keyframes, right? So let's click on that. So by default, you'll see it's put two keyframes in. One is right at the beginning of the video. This timestamp here is the time right there. And this time here is obviously the time at the end of this clip. So by default, it's 100%. We haven't changed anything yet. But we want to add a keyframe to this point in time here. You can stand on the one that you want to add it after. You want to add it right after this one, in between the 200s there. So let's do that. And now we can manipulate it. See, I'm going with a little hand, standing on it, and I'm just going to drag it back to roughly where I want it. So let's say there. I want to keep it 100 until there. And see, it changed now, but that's fine. We'll fix that now. Let's add another one. And now it's easier to just bring that one back 
to this one roughly. And if we wanted to bring it back there, that's about right. Let's, so we got four now. We want two there, two here. Let's add another one of these. Bring it back here. So this part in the middle we want to lower the sound and the part on the ends we want to leave it 100%. So we need one more. And we want to do it there. You want to do a little slope like this because if you don't the sound just changes all of a sudden. You know, this this way it's so gradual that you your ear doesn't pick up that somebody's messing with the sound. Okay, let's start here and let's make this under as well. So see what happens. Now this line is a nicer flat line, 100. Full volume there. And then we want to drop down to, let's say, 50 is a little too much. Let's say we want to make it 70%. That one too, 70. And that's difficult to do with track. You can't track so accurately in the vertical direction. So it's easier to just click on it and I'd actually double click to make it changeable. There again. Alrighty. So let's zoom in on that and you'll see that disappears as soon as you click off the video. See there? You can barely see that white line. Just gonna put the play line in the middle of the interesting bit here. I just wanna zoom in a little bit so you guys can see it nicely. See the nice points there. I'm just going to put the timeline right there, so you, the, the play line. So you can see what happens if I mess with it here. So this is if you want to fine tune it. You click on it there and you might want to let go of your ma left mouse button or click it one by one like that. And if you have a super fast clicking finger like me, you can get this done really efficiently. Yeah, the thing is that if you click, click and hold it, it starts speeding up. Exponentially. Yep. So be careful of that. Now we got a keyframed volume setting on the video track here. Woo! Okay, and that's what we wanted to do. So we lowered the sound here at the knocking part. Here we lowered the whole clip's volume. And of course, for the knocking bit, you would normally do it a lot more precise. You would go over it seven million times until you get it just right. But this is a bit of a rough edit. Yep. Let's uh, change the name to four. And render this, and we'll get back to you when it's done. Which is about five minutes. So after that glorious render time of 4 minutes and 16 seconds, it's done! Okay, to compare the two sounds, we got to start playing from the 48th second and listen to the volume of the music and then the knocking when it starts. Here we go. There's the knocking. Okay, let's do the new video. Here we go. And you should hear that it's uh, quite a bit quieter. The knocking is a little more acceptable now. Yeah, hopefully not it will deafen you and your family. Okay guys, we'll put a link to this demo video we just created at the end of this tutorial um, and also in the description. So in that video, Dad taught us how to lower the volume on clips and he taught us how to do keyframes. And don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye!